Hi, today we're going to see how to create a stretch effect in GIMP. So first we need to create a new image. So go to File, New. So the image width is going to be 1500 and the height, same height. I'm going to create a square image here. So here it is, 1500 for the height and the width. And then press OK. So here it is. And I'm going to change the foreground color. I'm going to select the blue color. So I'm going to select this blue color. We're going to change it later. The HTML notation is 377FB5. Press OK. Select the gradient tool. So make sure the shape is radial. So left click here on the shape and change it on radial. And now make sure the gradient is FG to VG RGB, foreground to background RGB. And now I'm going to trace my gradient from the middle. So here, so I want the white color to be in the middle. So I just need to switch between the foreground and background. So like this, I'm just going to drag this point here on the gradient here to adjust my gradient. So here, transition between the white and the blue between the foreground and background. So here it is. And now click on another tool here to confirm the gradient. And now I'm going to bring my image. So here it is. This is the original image. So I have already removed the background in order to save some time. So I'm just going to use the one without the background. So here it is. So now I'm going to scale down this layer. So select the scale tool, left click on the women layer. Now, as you can see, the chain icon here is linked. So keep the control key down while dragging from one handle to scale it proportionally like this. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit. So here like this, I think here it's okay. Press enter. And now I'm going to crop this layer to its content. So go to layer, crop to content. And now I'm just going to center this layer here, the women layer. So select the alignment tool. Make sure the align is related to the image and then left click on the women layer. And now let's align it here horizontally and then vertically. So here like this, it's okay. And now I'm going to select the ellipse selection tool. I'm going to press the plus key, my keyboard to zoom in. So make sure to check the expand from center and then the fix so that I have perfect circle. And now I'm just going to select the area I want to use. So here like this, so here press enter. And now control C to copy. So here, as you can see, copied pixels to the clipboard. And now I'm going to remove this selection. So go to select, none. We're going to be able to use the part here. We selected with the ellipse selection tool from the women here as a brush. And now press mind scan our keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to create a new transparent layer. So click on this icon, fill it with transparency and then press OK. And now, for example, if I select the brush tool, I left click on the brush here, select the first one. So here, clipboard image. So I'm going to increase the force. So here is, so make sure, so control Z, in order to have the right effect, make sure to reduce the spacing all the way down. So here, and now if I, so here it is. And now control Z to undo. So now I'm going to use this brush with these settings here. Make sure to select these settings. For the dynamics, I'm going to use basic. So it's the first one. Since we're going to use this brush with the path tool, and now select the path tool. And now I'm going to create path. So I'm going to create path from here to here. I'm going to make the path go here like this. So here, so here like this. And now I'm going to stroke this path. So click, make sure you're on the new transparent layer we created. So click on stroke path. And now here, check the stroke with the paintbrush. In the paint tool, make sure to select the paintbrush. Here, this one here, paintbrush tool. Since we selected our clipboard image here as a brush. And now don't check the emulate brush dynamics and then click on stroke. So here it is. Now, if you want to remove this path here, just select another tool. So now for this one, let's name it, for example, pink. Here, press enter. I'm going to place it under the women layer. So now I'm going to add another one. So click on this icon to create a new layer. Make sure to fill it with transparency and then press OK. And now I'm going to add another, for example, stretch here effect. So select the path tool again. So for this one, I'm going to 
started from under here so plus minus can work able to zoom out now so here just adjust how you want that to go so like this and now make sure on the new transparent layer you created click on stroke path so just as before stroke with the paint tool paint brush uncheck the emulate brush dynamics and then click on stroke so for example for this one i'm going to name it white since the white or gray color is predominant so double click let's name it white for this one press enter so this is arrow created now select another tool here to remove the paths here so here it is let's press the plus key keyboard to zoom in so for example you can still select the pink there this one here select the move tool so here you can still move it so like this so select the scale tool just in case left click keep the control key down so i'm just going to increase it a little bit to scale it up so that it covers all the layer here from left to right so here it is now right click layer to image size and now i'm going to add the shadows here over these stretches here so now i'm going to select this pink layer here so i want to add the shadows here that this white here this stretch here casts over the stretch this one here so now i'm going to make selection from the pink layer from this one here right click on it alpha to selection and now i'm going to create a new transparent layer so click on the second fill to transparency and then press ok and now i'm going to select the brush tool I'm going to change the brush to this one here the hardness and then i'm just going to reduce the hardness and the force to around 20 and here make sure to place the transparent layer under the this layer here the white layer so now i'm going to increase a little bit the size and now i'm just going to so control z change the foreground color to black and then here i'm just going to paint here like this and here you can still for example reduce the opacity so here like this and now go to select none and now i want to add the shadows here of the the women here on the stretches here so select the women layer so i'm going to duplicate it select the bottom one we're going to add a drop shadow to it so right click first on this on this one here layer to image size and then go to filters light and shadow and then drop shadow so here it is and now i'm just going to increase a little bit the opacity so here it's too much i think so here like this i think it's okay here and now just click on ok and now i want to keep the drop shadow here of the women layer here just over the stretches here so i'm going to merge down all these stretches here so click on this icon with this shadow here so i'm going to merge down so here it is so first one second time so here it is so we have all stretches here now right click alpha to selection to make selection from the stretches layer here go to select invert so now we can remove everything that's outside these layer here stretches here so select the one with the drop shadow this one here and just press the delete key so here it is so we have removed all the drop shadow that is outside these layers here these lines here so go to select none and now i'm going to add shadow here under the women here so select the top layer so this is our shadow here so let's name it shadow so double click women so here press enter and now i'm going to create a new transparent layer so click on this icon fill it to transparency and then press ok select the brush tool so i'm going to increase the size so here like this. so i'm going to increase much more we keep settings like this and then just so here let's place it over all the layers so that you can see so i'm going to press multiple times so here and now select the scale tool left click here then so let's name it shadow so here bottom center and now left click and now and now as you can see here chain icon here is linked so if you keep the shift key down you'll be able to scale it from one side here so like this so i'm going to place it now right under the 
women here so here like this I'm going to keep shift key and then to scale it here like this and then press enter so let's place it there the women here and the shadow so select the move tool and now I'm just going to place it like this and then reduce the opacity so here it is and now I can still add reflection so select the women layer this one here so here as you can see the shadow women, women here layer has the women layer with it, its drop shadow so I'm going to duplicate this one so here it is select the flip tool and now change the direction to vertical left click so here it is and I'll select the move tool and now keep the control key down here so control Z so now keep the control key down here while moving this layer with the move tool to move to the same line so now I'm just going to place it so I think here it's okay press mine scan your keyboard to zoom out and now right click so layer to image size so you can see so I'm going to move it down so here so here like this it's okay here now press mine scan your keyboard to zoom out and now so this is our reflection layer here so this one here so top one so I'm just going to add layer mask so right click add layer mask and then check the white full opacity layer mask and then add so on layer mask the white represents opacity and the black transparency so now I'm going to select the gradient so I'm going to change the gradient to foreground to background RGB change the shape to linear and then here I'm just going to trace my gradient so here from the black color to the white so transparency to opacity and then here I can just arrange the effect so here press enter so now for example if you want to change the color of the background select the background layer go to colors hue and saturation and then here you'll be able to change the hue so you can change the color here here to make it either brighter or darker and here's the saturation or the intensity of the color so for example i think i'm going to go for kind of red color for this one here i think it looks quite good so i'm going to leave it here and now press ok and now right click new from visible so here it is that's how you can create a stretch effect in gimp thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time